Let us witness the mistakes of the strong leader in less than three minutes of a failed docking attempt. The leader's attention is where the action is, he focuses on the points of friction. Now the problem is that there is always more than one point of friction. Notice how others come to help, although it is only because they try to save their own asses. Now, the strong jet of the bow thruster. The leader is decisive, which immediately causes friction at the other end. But the leader is not impressed by the small bumps and hiccups when he goes about his business. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this may look like a withdrawal to you. And it is. But the strong leader does not abide, nor does he show doubt or reconsideration. When he withdraws, it is only to come back immediately to make a second decisive attempt, taking it out on the poor neighbors. Notice how he has caught a mooring line that, invisible to him, connects him to the rest of the system, creating yet another unexpected reaction. Now when finally liberated of such connections, he strongly steers the front part of the system in one direction, the back acts as a counterweight, taking yet another unexpected route. He corrects violently, and we repeat the procedure. But still, we have not reached our goal. Sometimes we have to move backward in order to reach our desired result. Every counter move is strong and decisive. The thrust is not steady, but in strong blows. Notice how fast the wheel turns in the cockpit. And we correct again. This time, the strong thrust of the vessel immediately throws it into its neighbor's arm. This reaction of the system is unacceptable. This is too much. Now it is finally time to leave and abandon the original plan, give the neighbors what they deserve, and leave in search of new adventures on the open sea. So this is the lesson of the strong leader. Come in fast, be impatient, attract attention of others, but don't listen to them, it's only noise. Always overreact. Completely ignore the slow, steady response of the system and make sure to leave a lasting impression amongst the ignorant co-workers who always complain, no matter what.